Main article. Imperial City. A city of metal. Of course. Why have you brought me to this abomination of a world? You will be safe here for the time being. Tear and Ki Gon Jin Coruscant's surface was defined by its urban sprawl, which collectively was called Galactic City officially renamed as Imperial City during the Imperial Era. The dense city blocks were built on top of each other, with lowest being level 1 and the highest reaching to level 5127. The lowest known habitable level was level 5. At its highest level, Galactic City skyscrapers were built with many reaching 6,000 meters into the atmosphere, with sleek, transparent steel edifices standing next to older duracrete structures. As a hustling, bustling planet-wide city with an underworld full of dark alleys and an abundance of people, Coruscant provided the ideal conditions for a thief to prosper, especially targeting tourists from quieter planets. Galactic City was divided into sectors named by designated coordinates. Some sectors also had unofficial names. For example, Sarg Town was the nickname of Sector H-46. Sectors were further divided into zones, with zones determined by purpose, such as financial, senatorial, or industrial zones. Under the Galactic Republic, the Federal District, also called the Senate District, was the center of political activity on the planet, as it was home to both the Senate Building, seat of the Galactic Senate, and the Senate Office Building, where the Supreme Chancellor had his or her own set of offices. It served as the main district for government buildings and institutions including the City Municipal Authorities Building and the Galactic Courts of Justice. The Federal District was also the location of the Jedi Temple, headquarters of Jedi Order, as well as 500 Republica, a massive residential tower home to the most powerful on Coruscant. Under the rule of the Galactic Empire, the Federal District was transformed and heavily fortified, and the Jedi Temple was repurposed as the Imperial Palace. The palace became a part of the Supreme Triangle of Structures alongside the Imperial Inspectorate HQ and the massive COMPNOR Arcology, which housed the city block sized ISB Central Office of the Imperial Security Bureau. Next to the Federal District was the Verity District, which under the Empire housed the Hall of Adjudication, the Hall of Imperial Register, the Institute to Preserve Imperial History, and the ISB Academy and Offices. The planet's sky lanes directed the air traffic of airspeeders via auto navigation system that moved the speeders along pre programmed routes. As such, crashes were extremely rare. Precautions were taken, though, within sky tunnels incorporating bombproof shields and high level tracking systems, and most structures on Coruscant had defensive shields to protect windows from stray and out of control vehicles. Owing to the planet's prominence in terms of galactic affairs, Galactic City housed numerous governmental offices and intergalactic headquarters in its winding depths. The central planning strategy offices of the food giant TAG Corporation could be found within the city, along with the droid research institutes funded by Cybot Galactica, and the Bank of the Core, one of the galaxy's largest financial institutions. The towers were symbols of power and authority, and the largest could hold populations of well over a million. The planet's residents were known as the Coruscant T, and of the estimated trillions inhabitants of the planet, 68% were believed to be human. On Coruscant, wealth increased with altitude. The lowermost levels were devoid of light and abandoned, with level 1 deemed uninhabitable and roaming with strange creatures and monsters. Above them were lawless underlevels, countless blocks inhabited by billions of middle class workers. The super towers on level 5217 remained home to the ultra wealthy. Furthering this class divide, citizens who lived in the upper levels were able to breathe air that was filtered and clean, while lower class inhabitants were forced to breathe the air of toxic fumes from factory and vehicular waste. As such, most visitors to Coruscant chose to bring their own air supply to last the length of their stay.